Diagnostic technique, ultrasound of the common carotid arteries. Objective, to diagnose the presence of subclinical atherosclerosis using a morphological and hemodynamic study of the carotid arteries with image gathering to measure the intima media thickness and diagnosis of the presence of atheromatous plaques. Material. This test requires an ultrasound, a linear probe, conducting gel, gloves and cellulose paper. The patients that appear in this video are actors. Patient preparation phase. Firstly, we inform the patient of the exploration that will take place and he or she lies in the supine position on the examining table with the headboard flat and with arms outstretched beside the body. We then introduce the patient's personal data into the ultrasound. Implementation phase. The notch on the ultrasound corresponds to the V of the screen that indicates the orientation of the image. The technician may be situated beside or behind the patient, either position being correct and depending solely on his or her comfort. The patient is placed with his or her head at a 45 degree angle towards the opposite side to the area to be examined. Conducting gel is extended over the probe and or over the area to be explored. A transversal examination of the common carotid is carried out from the base of the neck above the collarbone as far as the bifurcation, checking the morphology and the presence or absence of plaques. The carotid artery should be distinguished from the jugular vein. In order to obtain a good image of the intima media thickness of the common carotid artery, we carry out a transverse section of the carotid as far as the bifurcation. We rotate the probe to a longitudinal position at the level of the carotid bulb in order to obtain a good image of the common carotid and the bulb. The image is captured. The segment is identified and saved. In order to obtain a good image of the intima media thickness of the bulb, we make a cross-sectional exploration of the carotid as far as the bifurcation. We rotate the probe to a longitudinal position at the level of the bulb in order to obtain a good image of the common carotid, the bulb and the internal carotid artery. The image is captured. It is identified with the corresponding name and saved. To find the intima media thickness of the internal carotid artery, it must first be located. In order to do this, we make a cross-sectional exploration of the carotid as far as the bifurcation and we then rotate the probe longitudinally at the level of the bulb and we take note of the peaks from the Doppler recording to differentiate the external carotid from the internal carotid artery. Both segments are identified and saved. In order to obtain a good image of the intima media thickness of the internal carotid artery, we make a cross-sectional exploration of the carotid as far as the bifurcation. After the bifurcation, we rotate the probe longitudinally until we obtain a good image of the bulb and the internal carotid artery. The image is captured identified with the corresponding name and saved. The same procedure is undertaken on the left and right sides. Mm -hmm. 
After the examination, the resulting images are reviewed for accuracy. Analysis of the results. At a later date, the exploration is analysed on a central image reading unit. 1. Enter reading programme. 2. Select patient and open study. 3. Once within the study, select the image to evaluate. Firstly, in the right common carotid artery, select Measure and adapt the caliper to the thickness of the posterior artery wall, one centimetre before the bifurcation, and save. The minimum, maximum and average values of the measured segment will appear on the screen. The same process is repeated for the bifurcation and the internal carotid artery, just at the exit of the bulb. Check the external carotid artery to assess for the presence of plaques. Repeat the same process for the left carotid artery. 4. Introduce the data in the registry sheet. Record the maximum and average value of each of the segments studied on the left and right carotid arteries. The value indicated on the screen is the patient's intimum media thickness that corresponds to the average of all of the values obtained. Register the presence or absence of atheromatous plaques and whether plaques cause a hemodynamically significant stenosis in any of the segments studied. Examples Type 1 plaque on the anterior wall of the common carotid artery. Concentric type 2 plaque at the level of the bulb. Type 3 plaque on the posterior wall of the internal carotid artery. Type 4 plaque on the posterior wall of the internal carotid artery. Type 5 plaque or calcification on the posterior wall of the internal carotid artery. <laughs>